2016 Formula Drift, the end of the season. This is the grand finale here at Irwindale Speedway. This is where the decision for the championship has been decided since the beginning of Formula Drift. The House of Drift is essentially the start of, of professional drifting in the U.S., so it has a lot of history here. And uh, being the last event of the year and one of the gnarliest tracks that all the drivers we all compete on, the driving is intense. It's so incredible here. The action, the tandem, everybody's just going 110% ham and uh, a lot of crashes, a lot of phenomenal uh, tandem battles and just some good hardcore drift driving. Here we are, the house of drift. It's been a tremendous season. Uh, we're sitting second in points. And uh, we got done with practice yesterday and qualifying, and we've been struggling a little bit. It's been super grippy out here. I think a recent circle track race has really gripped up the tracks. We've been having some challenges, but we feel like we've figured them out and we're ready and poised for the battles. great feeling coming back to Irwindale Speedway and, I'm, and as a matter of fact I only, I only live 10 minutes away so it's seriously my local home course and uh, this is where I got my start in drifting in the parking lot on the other side of the venue and uh, you know here we are 16 years later at the House of Drift competing in the finals of Formula Drift. Tandems have never been closer, the cars have never been faster, uh, it's just a crazy circus out there and you know, you really have to be on point starting from practice on Thursday all the way to the battles. So it's just crazy how the sport has evolved within just a matter of a few events. I mean, it's been pretty emotional um, saying goodbye to the Scion brand going under Toyota, but uh, I was the first Scion racing driver in Formula Drift, and um, we grew as a brand. I grew as a driver with this brand and this team, and a lot of the close guys I work with now I've met through the Scion brand and Scion racing, and I just can't give it out to Steve Hatanaka enough. If it wasn't for Steve and, you know, at the time Jack Hollis, I wouldn't be here. They really established Siren Racing as a brand that would be um, cemented into Formula Drift's history. It's, it's been a great 10 years. I've been with Siren Racing for 10 years now. And uh, yeah, it's still hard to say goodbye. Scion as a brand and Siren Racing always felt like Toyota's little brother, because it was. Now seeing Toyota Racing's rig roll in here alongside all the Toyota executives and Toyota people, it's a big deal for us. And it's been such a memorable journey. You know, we started off developing the TC, ended up doing slightly better every year, and it all culminated with winning the championship last year. And now being able to hail for Norway, you know, spend time here in Southern California alongside all the Toyota executives and our other sponsors, it's, it's a great life to have, and I couldn't be more thankful. And as fantastic as this journey has been over all these years, I think it's a given. We want to go out with a bang. We want to put on the best show possible. We're ready. The car's ready. Let's do this. It's, it's uh, definitely bittersweet. This is our, our fourth year in the chassis and uh, with Scion Racing and uh, Scion brand. And, you know, it's the, I guess this is the last event we're going to be representing the, the brand. So it's uh, definitely bittersweet, but we're all, uh, you know, the whole team, Frederick Gosbo, uh, Ken Gushi and myself, we're all going to go out there and try to, you know, send it off in a good way. Come out, SR by Toyota 86. There it is, Ryan Turk, third place. 
end of the season off in a podium. So thank you everybody for all the support out here. Everybody cheering us on. Doesn't go unnoticed. Love you all.